All right, folks. Well, here is the beginning of the dock. Um, it uh, consists of four or uh, three posts, two in the front and a T post in the back. And uh, they were sunk 30 inches plus about 34 inches into the ground. And I think it came out pretty good. The uh, hope for is that the gap that you see between the left side and the right side, uh, about two feet back will, from the two front posts will be the terminating post of the beginning of the dock, the north side of the dock. And then that will proceed down to here. And you'll notice I took out those scrub trees. Uh, they were kind of half dead anyhow, so it's no big deal. But now we have uh, easy access all the way uh, from the dock when it, when it will be finished all the way down to uh, the level of the, the creek. Actually, when the creek starts rising, it's only about two, two and a half, maybe three feet at most deep right now. Uh, you can walk across it and I don't think even go down, down to your waist. Uh, it actually will make the dock work a little bit better. But uh, everything is absolutely uh, the way it should be. You can take a look at those posts. They are perfectly plumb and they line up with each other. Uh, the cross members, the 45 degrees, are about one quarter of an inch out. Uh, that was just because the, uh, uh, there was a root over on one side and I had to reposition uh, the left hand post just a little bit. But I got it to fit, and trust me, it's not going to make a darn bit of difference. Uh, it's pretty solid, and uh, I think it came out really quite nice. Uh, it, sh it should uh, function for what our purpose is, and that is simply to hold the dock uh, perpendicular with the creek. Uh, you'll notice that there is that long, dead, overgrown branch that was uh, hanging in the water. I took that out because I was able to. I got down there with a the sawzall, hung onto a tree, and now you can see we've cleared out the entire area, and it'll make it a lot easier to get the kayak just to the right of that post there. You don't have to go underneath the post. It's kind of silly. Uh, so you've got plenty of space, about 10 feet, to get the uh, kayak uh, into the water, and hopefully it, it will all work the right way. So there you go. Um, I'll give you the walk around here. And again, all the posts are nicely vertical, which is a good thing, I guess. And I gotta be careful because I almost went in the pond. There looks like a field goal, but you can see how nice and even everything is. Actually, I'm not in the center. There you go. Now you can see how nice those are. Eight feet tall. I just kept them as high as they could go. Uh, very solid. Everything is, of course, perfectly level. Boy, did I have a bear of a time because the distance from there all the way to the top, which is where I had to put the screws in, is eight feet tall, and I'm only six feet tall. So I was able to stand on the other side, get the screws started on the ground, and put them in without any difficulty. But uh, that post is absolutely right in the middle of 24 inches, and uh, everything lined up quite well. There are four three and one eighth inch long screws at each junction point and all of the boards are sanded completely down so there's no splinters all of the posts are being completely sanded and they are very smooth so you're not going to catch any uh, any splinters either way but uh, at least now we used all of the posts nothing went to waste and I am just tickled pink now let's just hope our dock works the correct way so there you go and uh, I think we'll be happy with it. I'll show you from the other side too. Let's see if I can walk up here. <clears throat> like I said, the creek is really quite low. You can see over there, uh, the land mass is actually sticking out of the ground and you can see the bottom all the way through. But uh, very nice, it's very quiet here. Uh, there's no, no noise, it's almost five o'clock I think. I'm, I am completed, completely finished, everything's getting put back but uh, I'll take a walk around here. Oops, sorry about that. I almost fell over. And now you can see how everything lines up nicely. And watch this. Even those posts, that post is right on the money. 50 inches, of pro uh, no, 50 to 50 and a quarter inches from that post to that corner. And 50 to 50 and a quarter inches from that post to that corner. Clamp to those bar clamps really came in handy. Uh, and you can see how I married the top of them. Uh, they just are just a shade below the top of the post and should go quite nicely. 
Uh, so hopefully it will function appropriately and we'll keep our fingers crossed. There you go. It started raining here a little bit, but just the cell came over and I'll walk you back. And again, you can see that uh, little uh, shoal, I guess it is. Uh, I don't know how it got there, but it's really, really low. And I'll walk over up here. I'm on the stairs. And you can see it's, there's your markers. Boy, is it low. It's three feet, let's see, one, two. It's at least three feet below the last marker. But they're expecting some rain. So again, slightly more water would really help. Uh, I almost thought about taking out that thing, but uh, I just let it go. It's just too much. And it looks kind of cool anyhow. So there you go. We're all done. And there is the framework. And I'm, I'm sure it's going to function quite fine. That's about it. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.